What is up guys, this is Tito back with another video on the Redmi K20 Pro and today in this video I'm gonna be showing you the latest build of the Pixel Extended ROM version 5.6 based on Android 13 and this is the 28th March 2023 build. Of course comes with March security patch and I have to say I have waited a long time for the Evolution X ROMs update but there were test builds and after I flashed those test builds I could not simply boot into it and I had to actually fast boot flash MIUI to actually fix it because the recovery was not working and stuff so yeah I am here after trying all of those did not work for me that's why I have switched to the latest pixel extended and here my experience has been one of the best that I can say definitely does not offer too much customization I will show you everything but yeah overall you can see the notes and the change logs and stuff from here I have used the latest official orange fox recovery and you can check out the flashing guide from the description that worked for me and by the way my storage is decrypted and I have been using ext4 storage and I have of course flashed the gapps included variant of this rom in the android version section you will get to see this kind of animation of the pixel extended on top and we have the android version as android 13 the extended version shows as 5.6 the maintainer is Ralph 979. The security patch is latest of March 5th, 2023 finally. And here today is almost uh, when I'm shooting this video, it's about March 30th. So yeah, it's almost end of March. But yeah, finally we have got March security patch ROM. And here we have the stock kernel as the 4.14 English OS kernel. And the build number you can see from right here, 28th March 2023. In the system settings, we do have a system updater. From here, you can check for updates whenever there is a newer one and let me go back from here you won't get the gesture kind of settings over here because that's present in the customizations i'll show you that but here we get the pop-up camera settings here we have the sound effects and stuff for the motorized front camera now uh, talking about camera i have to say one thing that we do not get the miui camera or anything right out of the box we only get this aperture camera right out of the box which is not that great i would say but yeah, you can definitely use it if you want there are a couple of customization like you can switch to 4k and stuff with this but yeah this is how it is and let me tell you that i have installed a gcam and i'll list this gcam in the description this is the mgc version here we have the ultra wide angle lens switching option then the 1x lens and the 2x telephoto lens it's also working fine and here let me switch to the front camera and as you can see it is actually working fine but as usual google camera does underexpose the shots a little bit so that's how it is but yeah front camera and stuff should be working fine if you want to use it and in the video settings let me show you we have up to 60 fps option for the like front camera 1080p 60 fps and here as you can see it has this illumination and stuff and for the rear camera let me show you we have up to this 4k 60 fps option is present there is the full hd 60 fps and even 4k 30 and 60 fps options are there but there is also 8k option that will not work <laughs> don't even expect those but one thing is good i just connected to this bluetooth device and once you connect to that in the video settings you will get a mic switching option as you can see phone mic and the bluetooth audio you can actually switch so if you are vlogging or something this will be really helpful with a bluetooth headset so that's really great and the portrait mode the night sight everything is present on this rom and you can customize and use it however you want so this is a really great gcam if you want to see the shutter speed let me actually show you by clicking a picture i just took it and here just look at the colors they are really popping out and the picture quality overall is amazing and this is a 12 megapixel photo with the rear camera so yeah overall i would say the picture quality with this camera is amazing you can install it if you want before i talk about the home screen stuff let me show you these are the stock apps that you will get except the fresh walls the pixart and the telegram twitter and vlc except these apps all other are the stock apps of this rom i was just restoring my google app data backup that's why you can see all of these and this rom does support fast charging and stuff you should not worry and if you want to see a uh, charging speed kind of you can definitely see that from here but i charged from like 40 percent to 100 percent i would say so it took about one hour and 35 minutes because it was like up to 100 percent so it was a little slow after like 80 percent but otherwise normally the fast charging and stuff should be working perfectly fine here now talking about the home screen this is how it looks like and it has this really cool wallpaper that i found out and here just notice how beautiful it looks it even looks good like in the outdoors and stuff if you go your friends might definitely notice this and this like kind of effect with the gyroscope kind of sensor effect that really gives you a visual effect really good to look at once you are just doing this so yeah and even unlocking and stuff 
does look really cool if you're looking at this and you will get multiple other options let me actually show you even here it shows this kind of animation if you're looking at it closely and in the change wallpaper section you will get this live bloom and you have to actually download these wallpapers but yeah they definitely look beautiful with this kind of animation and stuff everywhere with all of these options they definitely look cool this 3d kind of effect does look awesome i would say Except for that, we also have this living universe wallpapers, the live wallpapers you can download. Also, we have this community curated culture and the pixel kind of wallpapers, I can say. We also get the 16 colors to choose from for the basic and wallpaper colors. There is a dark theme, the themed icons and stuff. Even if you enable the themed icons, it will look even better. And with the grid option, you will have up to five by five option. And let me show you, this is how it looks like with the like themed icons. And in the home screen, you are also, of course getting the pixel launcher. This is not a modified kind of pixel launcher, but it does have the suggestions and stuff. I disabled the suggestions. And with that, as you can see, this is how the app drawer looks like. But the searching option, I did try it. It also gives you some like additional options. As you can see here, if you are noticing, if I just search WhatsApp, it shows me add photo, add my status and stuff, all those things. And you can bring it to the home screen in some ROMs, in some like ways the app drawer does not work with the searching but here it is working perfectly fine and the widgets yes they are working fine the subscriber count widget that i have added is working perfectly also the battery widget is really looking cool as you are noticing this is how you can expand the battery notification or the battery widget looks definitely cool i would say and here let me show you the animation of opening and closing it yeah it does look very cool with the android 13 animations and stuff everywhere so the widgets of Android 13 are working perfectly fine in my opinion. But it doesn't have the double tap to sleep anywhere in the home screen, but it does have that on the status bar. No issues with that. And swiping to the left will get you to the Google's Discover page. They are working perfectly fine. And swiping down on the home screen will get you to the quick setting panel. Dark like this. The notifications, of course, stays as white in the light theme. And if you turn on dark theme, everything will turn dark, of course. In this ROM, you are only getting the 60 Hertz option. There is no overclocking option of the display which you get in other ROMs like Evolution X, but that is simply not booting for me. I don't know why, but yeah, otherwise this is running at 60 Hertz if you are wondering about that. Now in the quick setting panel, you can edit the panel and you can add any toggle that you would like. There are a plethora of options, but let me show you which ones I have added. I have the Wi-Fi, mobile data, the Bluetooth toggle, the flashlight, dark theme, Google home controls, auto rate, battery saver. The screen recording is also there. There is a HEVC option if you need that. And we also have the heads up, always on display, ambient display, and alarm, nearby share, night light, the data saver, and the airplane mode, and do not disturb. There is no DC dimming toggle, and the FPS info toggle is just simply missing. But yes, there is the night light option if you need that. And in the power menu, there is the restart option and stuff. If you click on restart, I do have advanced reboot enabled. Advanced reboot enabling option is a little weird in this room. I'll show you that. But in the settings panel, we have this PEX extensions. There you will find the customizations. In the network traffic monitor, of course, you can turn it on, but I use a separate app for that. In the system icons, we have the headset, Bluetooth, etc. kind of icons. Let me go back from here. We have the colored icons, 4G icon and the data usage, double tap to sleep on the status bar. And we have the clock position. You can change it to right, left or center. And we have the show seconds in PM style. Then the battery style, you can change it between these many options, not much. And we have the battery percentage next or inside the icon. And we have the brightness slider. You can have it on show always. And the position you can change to show bottom. And we have the auto brightness icon, mic and camera privacy and stuff. Quick setting tiles, layout you can change. You can enable the vertical layout if you want that. And we have the re ticker options. Then the quick pull down, you can change it to right, left or turn it off. Now, next one is the lock screen customization. Here we have the disable power menu on lock screen, lock screen charging info, double tap. And here we can have the ambient display kind of effect from the lock screen and we have the display media cover art and we have the ripple effect and the UDPS customization. There is the UDPS icon picker, plethora of options are there for the fingerprint scanner icons, I would say. Let me go back. We even have the animations. There are again, amazing amount of options, but none which are new. So you mostly have seen all of these, but yeah, there are the options like the McLaren one and stuff is present, but I am not using on any of those. We have the custom UDFPS icon and the screen of FOD. Now the next one is the system settings and in here you will get the gestures. Now this is the gestures which you get in most ROMs in the system settings. And we have the quick tap action or the back tap kind of customizations and the quickly open camera. Then we have the system navigation gestures. In the settings of it, we have the gesture indicator, long swipe action and stuff. You can customize that. And we have the swipe to invoke assistant. That is also working perfectly fine. And we have the left edge, right edge customization, edge touch area, but there is no pill length or the thickness customization. Haptic feedback is there and the full screen gestures. Let me go back. There is the three button navigation. If you want to enable that, 
one handed mode is also working perfectly fine double tap to check phone press and hold power button action now in here you will only get the advanced reboot make sure you go into the system settings then gesture settings and go into the press and hold power button section to actually enable this advanced reboot now you can also change the power menu action to power menu or digital assistant and the menu shortcut you can actually enable the device controls in the power menu if you want just like this let me go back we have the swipe quick screenshot that is of course working fine there is a capture mode and the edit delete options they are working perfectly fine and we have the quick torch and the prevent ringing also they are working fine now we have the invert layout option if you're using three button navigations and per app volume control and the vibrate to indicate call status is there now in the hardware settings we have the buttons in here we have the system navigation gestures again the quick torch and stuff again and we have the click trick partial screenshot and stuff let me go back we have the fingerprint success and the error vibration and that's pretty much it about the customizations of this rom and here in the notifications we have the conversation and bubble kind of customization heads up you can enable or disable from right here and we have some lock screen customizations over here now in the battery settings this is how it looks and in here you will only get to see the battery temperature you don't get the charging cycle or something like that all those things are simply missing but there is the k profiles so this will actually help with like idle position of the battery and stuff if you keep your phone in idle it will save the battery or if you are using some heavy performance apps it will switch the performance profiles to like higher performance mode and stuff so you can choose manually or you can just put it to auto i put it to auto and with that the battery life that i have been getting is amazing let me show you that with the Aku battery app now here you will see this is estimated but the screen on time with the Aku battery app here for me shows as 9 hours and 52 minutes. That's a huge amount of screen on time even when I have a new battery I would say. But still with a brand new battery which has health about 95%. Still the battery life of 10 hours with a Redmi K20 Pro is just amazing. And the battery life you cannot simply beat in this ROM I would say. If you enable the auto kind of key profiles the battery life will be 9 plus hours for sure if your battery's health is good. And the charging speed, I have already talked about it, it's pretty fast, no issues. It is supporting the 18 watt plus fast charging, no issues. But definitely, I gotta say the battery life of this ROM is amazing. One of the best that I have seen. In the sound and vibration settings, this is how it looks like. We have the sound, like media call, ring, etc. volume controls, of course. And if you scroll down more, we have the vibration and haptic feedback customization. There is a touch feedback, but I just turned it down. And here we have the type of tone, screen locking sound, charging sound and stuff. But there is no Mi Audio Direct surprisingly but this is how the volume panel looks like you can switch the output device from right here no issues with that so this is working fine also you can expand the volume panel and turn on the live caption and put the phone into mute or silent from right here and here in the display settings this is how it looks we have the adaptive brightness extra dim and the brightness level you can customize it from right here and the lock screen customization is there of course if you have set up the face unlock there is the when swiping up on lock screen option for the face unlock there is the control from lock device and show device controls, Google Home controls I would say. And in the ambient display, there is the always on option or if you just turn it off, there is a pickup option, you can enable it if you want. I'll show you all of these, but here let me show you there is the screen timeout. Of course, you can change it up to 30 minutes. The dark theme is there, you can schedule it and turn on the black theme. This is the pitch black I would say. Let me go back, we have the live display. Now in here, we don't get much. We only get the RGB control but there is no outdoor bright sun mode all those things are simply missing and the dimming as well is missing. There is a night light of course you can customize and the colors you can change it to boosted, saturated, adaptive, anything. And we have the double tap to wake pocket addiction, double tap to sleep wake up on plug, everything is there. Already showed you the wallpapers and styles and now in the security in the settings of it we have the quick unlock, scramble pin layout and stuff. I have already registered my face unlock and fingerprint I'll show you that but in the more settings there is no app lock. This is kind of disappointing for me because I want app lock to be there like in a particular ROM but here we do not simply get the app lock. Let me in the comments if you need the app lock and stuff. But right now let me focus on showing you the unlocking and locking things and just double tapping on the status bar locks the device let me just show you the pickup gesture i just put the device on the desk and just pick it up on my hand and as you can see the pickup gesture has worked perfectly fine i just turned on the always on display because it is needed to actually get into the pocket mode as you can see it is working perfectly fine with the pocket mode now the fingerprint scanner with the like always on display is working perfectly fine let me show you one more time so yeah it unlocks perfectly fine the animation is really smooth and there is no glitchiness at all while unlocking the device. Everything with this live wallpaper even is working perfectly fine. Now, if I just disable the always on display again, let me show you the screen of a 40. 
and yeah it is also working fine while the screen is off i'm just tapping the fingerprint scanner and as you can see it unlocks let me show you one more time and yep okay so i almost dropped the device but yeah it is working perfectly fine with the screen of the 40. now talking about the face unlock if i just swipe up as you can see it is working fine but about this front camera popping out there is no led if you're noticing <laughs> once i'm using the face unlock the front camera does not have any light but yeah it is unlocking fine but sometimes i have seen once i'm opening twitter or just like there is some instagram notification and stuff in the background sometimes i have seen randomly when i'm in twitter and i was getting some instagram notifications and stuff then the front camera just popped out then went back automatically i don't know why i did not even access the camera and stuff but yeah it suddenly it just popped out and went back on its own so this thing i have noticed but i did not face any kind of camera stuck issue yet in this rom otherwise this rom is working perfectly fine the battery life is great it has like minimal customizations to actually daily drive with in my opinion and overall the whole UI is battery smooth no issues whatsoever in the performance of this rom and the android and geekbench scores and the cpu stress test you can see from the screen talking about basic things yes it of course passes the safety net test right out of the box so you can use banking apps without any worries and the drm4 stays as l1 here so you can stream netflix or amazon prime videos in 1080p also it does have the google photos unlimited backup option and it still includes the features like magic eraser and stuff if you want that so in my opinion as of today this is one of the best roms that you can flash on your redmi k20 pro because it is stable because it does not have any kind of hassle or huge bugs overall i would say the experience of this pixel extended version 5.6 has been really good for me at least on the redmi k20 pro let in the comments what you guys think about this rom and the wallpaper here i am really liking i have to say give this video a thumbs up if you liked it subscribe to the channel if you have not yet share this video with your friends if they want to know about a android 13 rom which is stable enough to daily drive with for the redmi k20 pro until next time this is tito from kdn tech signing off for today and i'll be catching you guys in the next one bye bye now